Uh, ahoy hoy, and welcome to the eighth-ish or ninth-ish episode it's, yeah, it's eight. it's of the eight. Felvine <laughs> Bombcast. Uh, Malik is here, Strawfoot is here, and I'm I'm Jerry the Bear. Uh, and tonight we have a guest named Sarah Fee. She's red. <laughs> Sarah Fee, go ahead and talk about yourself. Hi. <laughs> So good, Jerry. You really did awesome. Thank you. So freaking amazing, dude. He's amazing. I have known Jerry for a very long time, and I am very honored to be here. I'm Seraphie. Hey, I like to play Beat Saber and Monster Hunter, and I'm old AF. <laughs> we're we're all old as fuck, so it's cool. Yeah, you're in good. You're in good. Uh... Good company. Yep. We're all we're all parents <laughs> and old. <laughs> Super old. I didn't even join the quest. Yeah. All that Good talk work. about organization and then you screwed it up. Quiet you. I was trying to pose. I thought we posed down at the beginning. I was, oh, yeah. I was, we didn't even like wave or anything. Jeez. No. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there mm. we go. There's a wave. Hey. Um, it counts. I'm okay. waiting to depart. I'm waiting for members. Strawfoot will be ready soon and I, as will I. I'm, I'm ready. See, I was like the next loading. Ready. It's loading. Are it's you loading. impressed? I'm sorry. I'm uh, Seraphie, I'm so very proud of you. I know. I am on my way. I am. I don't, myself. Why don't you tell us more about yourself other than just Beat Saber and Monster Hunter? Like, like give us the rundown while we destroy this Nergigante. Oh. Uh, how, lo- how long have you been playing Monster Hunter? How long have you been a badass streamer on Twitch? <laughs> Um, how long have you been red? Uh, um, it, wow. Well, you know, it's a loaded yeah, question. all those things. Well, I remember the, okay. So story time, uh, I started playing monster hunter cause my girlfriend who lived across the street back in the day, she's like, you gotta get this game that we can play online together. And I said, I really don't know how to play this game. Okay. <laughs> I get it anyway. Oh my goodness. I start playing it and then, you know, so which game was I, it? Was this try or try? It was try. Yeah. And then I met this yes. amazing individual named Jer bear. Me? Yes. Oh. You. And it was cool because he was a parent and he would go away on like he like I got to go take care of care of the baby and I was like that's really cool cuz I would have to go and take care of like kids or whatever and then the hunters that I was hunting with be like where would you go you're a leech we're going to leave you you suck and I'm like I'm <laughs> sorry but I'm a parent mm-hmm. and I have to go take care of my my child and so it was really refreshing to hunt with Jared because he always was like very understanding and I forgot all my coding so that's awesome uh, and then he introduced me to Capcom Unity's um Forum, and then uh, remember Party Star? I do remember yeah. Party Star. He was around not too long ago, I think. That's awesome. Around the release of this game. Oh, okay. Sleeping. Um, and I kind of got into like, oh, I want to show everyone what I'm doing. And I, my very first time recording a video. Oh, I forgot everything. Good job, Sarah. Malik, you blow it up since yeah. you have the. Since you have the sword. I'm going to fail. There's too much stuff over there. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. Sorry. And Sorry. I remember my very first video was, um, it was, an, uh, I know Samantha was there and we were like. Um, it's probably walking. with Maropa, wasn't it? Or are you talking about one that you recorded? One that I recorded. I like recorded okay. from the video of my laptop. I like set my laptop in front of my TV how good! Huh. I mean, it was just awesome, and uh, and recorded us kind of like a, a stun locking. Oh, what is that Gobel? monster's name? Go, yeah, Gobel. And oh, that was before Gobel. you were doing Twitch. Where were you posting the video on YouTube? Or? YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. Yep, yep. Cool. And that was it. Was history since then? And I would do other games, and I've been a part of other podcasts, well done podcasts with Malik and Go. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we're going to get almost everyone from Well Done. We'd still need a couple more people. Man, I wonder if we could get uh, everyone like Conti and Moises Mm -hmm. and Kindle to come on. I mean, we could get Judge pretty easy. I don't know where Rock has been. Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't know where Rock has been. Yeah, not lately. I haven't seen him. 
And who knows about Red Stash? That's true. I have not seen him, but he uh, he moved to Japan, so yeah. yeah. He is. I mean, I see him doing stuff, just not with the community that I'm in. I guess I don't know. Not the same. Not the circle that I'm in. I guess I don't know. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. So yeah, then um, uh, I met Ivy and Jan through Monster oh, Hunter. Oh yes, Jeez. and then we did the Digital Gaming Angels, which will be uh, streaming on Thursday. I don't know what we're playing yet, but we play with our community a great deal, and it's just we oh, have man. a lot of fun. The three of us have good chemistry. Sarah's outro is going to be so long. She's got so many things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but I just like playing video games and hunting with my friends and you guys are my friends. Thanks for being my friends. Twins. Don't mention it. I mean, it was awesome to host that it's, podcast with you. It yeah. Awesome. It's been fun hunting with you for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I died. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Seraphie. Um, no. So this, this beat saber thing you've been doing recently, I, I've seen a lot of that on, uh, on Twitch. It looks like it's like Star Wars with exercise. <laughs> yes. bad. With music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, how, did, how did you find that game and decide to stream it? My, okay. I love rhythm based games. And so when my son got um, the VR, he has a, a Vive. Um, there's this game called Audio Shield. It's a rhythm-based game. It was computer-generated dots that you would hit with a shield, mm-hmm. and I loved it. And I would, I, and I was, I would play it like for hours before Beat Saber came out, even. And and, he, and so when Audio or um, Beat Saber came out, oh, where's only ten minutes left? Yeah, it's a it. short no quest. No so problem. Sorry. He's already know. got a skull. Yeah, we're good. Um, I so I would do. Cold, do audio shield and i was like oh i wish i could share this with my friends this is such an awesome game it was a good workout you know and i would just hit these balls with my shield and you know and and there was no fail it was just you know you would just pick any song on youtube the program would generate um fun. right or left side and then uh when this game came out my son is like ah oh, this is for mom and he bought it for me nice, nice. It was history every since. And then I'm like, okay, let's stream this. And then uh, this company called Live, L-I-V, um, makes this program where I can do mixed reality. So you can see me in the game. And That's I, what I was going to ask next. Like, how long yeah. did it take you to set up that thing? That, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I, uh, you, you have a, a camera pointed at you that's like putting you into this like virtual world while you're playing it's it's so strange it's amazing it looks yeah. really great the power it's, of technology how do you do it what are your secrets yeah i mean it's it looks just, like the hollow deck from star trek or something it does yeah it's like way cool i like at first is it, it just was, is it just a green screen yeah it's just a green screen yeah <laughs> it's just a green screen it's awesome though like you you got yeah. the camera set up and you know the way you uh play the game and dodge the blocks and and you're not to mention you're getting really good at this game i mean i've been Super watching you good. for like the past month and it's, it's just so like impressive. you're getting better and better it's awesome how many hours did you stream today you said <laughs> over four holy Jeez. shit oh my gosh that's amazing you're so what are you gonna do what are you gonna do once school starts I will stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings for my exercise. I'll move my uh, time up. So, like, I'll probably start around 8, 8.30 my time and only stream for, like, 8, see, 8.30, 9.30, 10, 30, 11. It's for three, only three hours. And then I'll get ready for work and then go to work. <laughs> only three hours. Only three nice. hours. You got it all figured out. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Because I can, oh. I'm very loyal to games. I I, I don't know. I'm just, that's just my personality. It's like, you know, even when Monster Hunter wasn't like quote unquote popular, I would still play mm-hmm. it, you know? And uh, of course, when World came out, it seems like it's brought us all back together, kind of brought me out of hiatus. And there's all this new technology and streaming is so much easier through the PS4 instead of doing a capture oh, card. Yeah. And anyway, and so it's just, it's just really fun. That's great. That's great. It's all right, guys. So you guys. You guys want to get into some uh, some news discussion? Yeah. Yes. The news, the Monster Hunter news. 
Yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of stuff going on with Monster Hunter right now. Um, for me, the biggest news is the PC release. I'm really excited about this. It's coming out August 9th. It's gonna I can't be believe out. it's so soon. I thought I it was going to be in the fall, so I'm really surprised that it got an August release date. Sorry to cut you off. I just no, that was I, like I'm the biggest too. shock of all was that it's next month. It's yeah. kind of the way they've been doing their announcements. They seem to really just kind of want to spring it on people, and I don't Surprise. know if that's the best way to to create buzz. But like, I'm happy it's coming out soon. I can't wait to play it. Fuck yeah! Uh, and the specs look pretty good, um, and it looks like even. Like mid-range machines can play it. Obviously, they're not going to get the graphics and frame rate that a higher-end computer will get. But um, yeah, yeah. Well, my my thing is if, if I'm going to take the uh, if I'm going to take the time to like start a a whole new character and start from the beginning again, like I want the experience to be better than what it was on playstation you know right so yeah like, so, I want that 60 frames a second and, you know like high resolution uh which means so i have you, to update my computer <laughs> right i was just gonna ask if you thought you'd be getting it uh i think i will eventually but probably not mm -hmm. right at release just because i mean yeah there's not a lot of point if i can't like i was saying uh, I, I need a new sure. graphics card for my computer and i can't uh, spring for one right now so I'll probably oh, I'm, yeah. a little bit, but I'm sleeping. Plus, I feel so, like I'm, I'm going to be pretty busy with Gen U anyway. Yeah, that's a really good point. Oh God, I'm going to be playing so much Monster Hunter. It's not funny. All the <laughs> PC I'm in sleepy sleeps. Very oh, nice. Guys. I already put my bombs I down. Was, oh. I was Never in mind. the air. I'm You're sorry. already awake. Yeah, I saw <laughs> that mid air. I should have been. It's yeah. fine. It's um, fine. so. So with that announcement came another announcement that like really kind of shocked me. That yeah, this uh, one I don't understand at all. So, I'm... <laughs> so like Capcom's stock was downgraded because Monster Hunter isn't doing as well as they thought. Um, I guess since May sales have dipped, um, which I guess means that they don't have faith in the company, which is really bizarre to me because I mean, okay. So they made the announcement for release on August 9th and on mm -hmm. steam monster hunter is in three of the top five sales spots already. It's not even out oh, yeah. yet. And it's the top three slots, which is crazy. Um, but they're like, their stock dropped almost 13%. Which is yeah. crazy. I don't understand the metric that they're working with because it doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. So it, re no. it reminds There's just me so of many when factors like, and yeah. I was just gonna say it reminds me of when like a news outlet sort of like maybe Forbes that doesn't typically like like they do have a video game department, but they're they don't seem to be as clear. They don't really know what, what the is fuck going they're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Exactly. Um it's an untested market for sure. Like it's never, you know, come out in uh, North America on PC, but it's like, there are a lot of people that are injured. I've been talking to people that have been like dying to play a monster Hunter game. They just mm -hmm. didn't want to buy it on the consoles that came out. They, they're Jesus PC Christ. gamers. So. Yeah. Like Sam, I'm doing he, like, terrible. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Like hot Sam. He's like, I'm just waiting for this. Once this comes out, man, I'm never oh, going yeah. to PS4 I, again. So yeah, that's Gale. really Yeah. Like a uh, Haas. Uh, uh, Gale Haas. Yeah. So, and I've been seeing people in the uh, the Discord that are are showing up that, that don't even have the game yet that are like already like excited enough about it that they're like finding my Discord and everything else just yeah. in anticipation That's of it. So out. awesome. So, this your game really Discord is, Yeah. Your Discord is awesome. I love it. I don't know. It's yeah, have a, you have a good community there. Yeah, I just got to keep growing it because um, if I get enough people, I can get a free hoodie from Discord. Oh. Oh. Okay, everybody, <laughs> right. join join that there Discord, you go. Stop man. Discord so Links I can are get down my below. Help Straw get that hoodie. <laughs> oh if, man, um, yeah. If I actually get the hoodie, we can just share it between everybody in the Discord. Like <laughs> we can all just. Just mail it. Uh, and start a, a hoodie mailing chain. Like I'll send it to some person and yeah. then I'll send it to the next like person. This, the, 
The, the what sisterhood the of the traveling yeah, hand Exactly, hoodie. right. But the with Discord the Discord hoodie. The Discord of the traveling hoodie. <laughs> yeah, and then the only rule is no washing it. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can that. Uh, can you just yeah. make sure that I get it in the summertime? Right. Oh, yes. So I can be really hot. Yeah, man. Both super figuratively hot. and literally. Super hot. That's okay. I was wearing my Legend of Zelda beanie today. My wife was like, why are you wearing a beanie in summer? I was like, because uh, fucking Link is on Legend it. Legend of Zelda, so. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> why do I even have to explain this? Do you need another reason? I, I didn't know that you did. <laughs> hey, we killed one of them. Good job, guys. Good, Good job. work. Good job. They killed They killed one of us, though, so we got to be it careful. There's only one more death. Oh, oh shit. Right. It went down just like Capcom stocks. Oh, ah, damn. Capcom. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I think I think Here Merrill Lynch is going to regret that. I, I really do. I think. Uh, I mean, it's we'll just, just ridiculous. Yeah, I just it's don't pretty understand stint. it at all. Like anything about the like stocks and finances is, is all it's all Greek to me. So I think it is to most people, though. I think it's yeah. all a big freaking game. Like, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, I just think it's gambling. Right. Just, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. People it's are taking non- bets that it'll fail, and then people are taking bets that it'll succeed, and the ones that fail are, are winning right now. So we'll see what happens. I'm changing my armor so I can be more okay. safe. I did because... it, too. I did it really early on. I, I realized this quest with Tempered Basil required the immortal set. Yeah. Strafa, okay. uh, you got any news things yeah, you want to talk about? Yeah, I do. I have, so, I have some random news articles that I'm going to try and read without dying and ruining our quest. Uh, Good luck, my friend. Okay. Yeah, and I, I'm getting all these from IGN, so thanks, IGN. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this came up. They they're already uh, have the right soul to make a movie out of the Thai cave rescue. Oh, oh wow. Get out of here. That's yeah, so bad. So, that's yeah, they terrible. got them all out. Like, I'm pretty sure they must have been negotiating it before the boys were even out, like, just on the off chance that yeah. they did live. That's, That's so ugly. Bad. That's ugly, ugly, That's... ugly. That's terrible. Is that, like, even ethic? But... Uh, whatever. I'm trying to remember the one that bothered me the most. I think it was the uh, Deepwater Horizon one. I just thought, oh, not only is fuck, too dude. fast, but it's like, That's don't turn this sucked. into a... A positive story like right that story sucked. Nah. that movie was shit too i, I didn't watch it i wasn't gonna my, yeah, sorry. my wife wanted to watch it that's all right um, uh yeah that movie sucked so i just oh. thought that was funny i'm glad the kids are out yeah. though that's a happy news that yeah they no all survived. totally yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's Nate pretty amazing. Lost too. his life yeah. saving them so like that yeah, guy that's really bravery sad. is incredible yes. yeah it really is was um, it a guy or was it a girl? I can't. I'm sorry. I'm. Uh, I think it was a man. Okay. I mean, just. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I was just yeah. getting ready to put a health booster down, and it's, it's all like, right. No. You were trying to save us. You were doing the right thing. Oh. So, so far, I dropped the. Uh, I dropped the quest. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> what? I am. I don't know if you noticed. I have disappeared. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I was still wondering what was man, I was with the I was getting some weird lag going on too. Yeah, I, I started getting so. weird lag and now it's just me and Donut. Can you uh, play like the Benny Hill music when like they when you look at my video and see how crazy things were? <laughs> there was like <laughs> super weird. I'm gonna blame my death on that. Yeah. We didn't legitimately fail that because that that like Yana was like scooting around. <laughs> totally all scooting. The place. Scooting, scooting everywhere. Like a dog with worms. And then this, this here's a news thing that I thought we had to talk about because we've been talking about Star Wars a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. Billy D. Williams is returning as Lando Calrissian in the next movie, I guess. I saw that way better than that fucking hack. Oh, yeah. can I say that out loud. <laughs> sure, dude. I uh, I did not hear that. Wow, uh, it shows how much I've really fallen out of Star Wars. <laughs> I yeah, love it was Star announced Wars, the other day. Man, the fans yeah. really killed it for me. But no, that's cool news, man. I love uh, yeah, Billy Dee Williams. Gives I'm me glad. a reason to watch the next one for sure. 
Yeah. You weren't going to watch it? What? Well, I'd have watched it anyway, but now it gives me a reason to be like excited to watch it. Well, I'm totally. Well, I guess I'm not that excited. Freaking Abrams. <laughs> Freaking Abrams is taking it over again. And then here, this is the thing that I'm most excited about. Uh, Monster Hunter is getting a 3D animated special. Yeah. Oh, oh my fuck. God. I saw that. that. So exciting. Yes. So, and this is not the lame movie that they had the previews for with right, right. Um, Mila whatever her name is thank Thank you yeah yeah it's not that there's actually another one it's going to be fully animated uh and it's called the legends of the guild and it's going to be actually like set in the world of monster hunter and that's i mean that's like all we know but that sounds uh i saw an i saw an article on the verge they had a little bit more information Oh, yeah? Uh, it's basically the premise. Yeah, it's basically the generic premise of any Monster Hunter game. Um, you're a young, or not you, uh, the protagonist is a young hunter, lives in a village, finds out that there's an elder dragon threatening the village, and then, you know, the story is him going to save the village. That's awesome. There's some Yay. interesting fan theories about the picture they released, because some people the, say it's like Scylla, right? It looks well, like not only that, Scylla, but, but he's not. He doesn't. I don't know. He's not itself, wearing his though. normal like shroud, and then the hunter's mm-hmm. like jumping uh, off the spider web or something. Well, yeah. people are looking at the hunter, and if you look at it closely, it kind of looks like the one dude from Monster Hunter Four who had the dual blades with the gray hair. What the heck was that yeah. dude's name? Uh, Crap. there's Commander. Yeah, yeah he's Commander, and commander, they were thinking yeah. like maybe this is his origin story, and I was like, huh, that would be really be so cool. cool. Oh, that would be amazing. That's fan theory. That's just speculation. I don't know if it's any truth to that, but I'd be down with that. Yeah, Monster that'd be Hunter right. 4 had a great story. It was one of the best stories in Monster Hunter. For sure. Yep. I'm just glad they're making a, you know, like a Monster Hunter show that is actually about Monster Hunter, like that they realize that the game is good enough. You know, there's enough lore and enough story to make uh, something that people will watch and they don't have to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Time travel, right. set it in America or whatever. Maybe the movie is why they dropped the stock price. It could be. <gasps> oh, maybe. Would that drop Capcom <laughs> stock, though? Like, wouldn't it be the right. movie studio just, stock? I mean, it seems like Capcom has very little to do with that movie. Yeah. Yeah, like, their, their license is on it. That's about it. Like, And yeah, we're yeah, back. I, oh, we're back. Yay. <laughs> What quest has been chosen? I did Timber this again. What? It's fun. Techno sorcery. It's to help Jer. To help me? Yeah, you haven't done your weeklies yet, have you? Oh, I haven't. See, she was thinking of you, man. This is a great quest for that. That's a good one. You kick ass. Yeah. See, I remember Jer when he would drink and swear. He still swears, but he remembers me when I didn't drink and swear. <laughs> and now uh, I drink and swear. <laughs> and he doesn't drink anymore. <laughs> great big square. I was very, what do they call it? Like straight edge? Oh, boy. No drugs, I mean, no alcohol, no coffee. Did, hmm. Do you have the little X's life, in your hand? <laughs> life without coffee is not life. I wish I could get back to life without coffee, but I'm addicted again. It's fucking... Man, caffeine is a hell of a drug, man. Has anyone ever said that? It sure That's is. fucking true. Strafa, have I ever one. told you... Have I ever told you about the straight edge parties I used to go to? Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Bring it on. <laughs> Let's hear it. Have, have I? No. Okay. So... Uh, what do you even do at a straight edge party? Just all what? sit around just, and... You'll angsty. just have... You'll just have to wait and see. Oh my god! That's part of the story. I got a so, story time. Dying. Go ahead, so, Jerry. So when I lived in Lawrence, I lived at a punk house, and there was another punk house down the street. And the punk house down the street was like the hub. It was the big one. It's where most of the shows were. It's where the vegan potlucks were. It was all shit vegan like that. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. It so was, there. It was a punk house. Come on. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> After a while, everybody that lived there wound up being straight edge. Um, okay. Most of them weren't obnoxious about it, but a couple of them were. And they would have all ages shows and they would be wait, wait, like wait, wait, straight edge. Because I, I feel like you might have to explain what straight edge is. 
because oh. I don't even know if that's don't, a thing anymore. Is straight edge still a thing? Do people know what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still it's still a thing. Uh, it's usually like teenage kids that don't know what to do with their lives and they think that they're anti-drug and alcohol, um, even though they've never done them. <laughs> all right, I'm getting a little judgy. Uh, um, <laughs> that's all right. Um, some of these kids were definitely that way. Like they didn't know what they were opposed to and they were very self-righteous about it. So there's a stigma that comes with it. But it's basically like don't don't do drugs uh don't eat meat don't have casual sex um and basically the reasoning is because you want to stay sharp for the you know revolution or whatever that's kind of the the original punk rock like ethos to it was to like you know be be conscientious of what's going on uh live a good life and like don't poison your body, basically. And, and they kind Which of dress is, a little bit like skinheads most of the time. At least they did. Uh, I, I mean, it, it depends on the scene. Like, if it's a hardcore straight edge scene, then yeah. But these were like mostly cross punks that were young and also straight edge, which is kind of weird. But <laughs> anyway, so they would have all ages shows and, um, you know, straight edge parties or whatever. Mm-hmm. So my roommate and I who were very much not straight edge we we actually a lot of this went down in the summer of drugs where we tried to do every drug we could that summer um sounds like a healthy lifestyle decision sounds like a summer of drugs but my roommate the one that got stabbed in the neck um (laughs) yeah he uh he his favorite that summer was ether. So he would get, uh, he would, <laughs> he would get wart remover. Um, what? He would get what? Wart, wart remover. Wart remover. Because it's, uh, I guess there's a lot of ether in there. So he would huff wart remover and I would just, you know, do all the things that I did. <laughs> Don't do drugs. kids. Kids, please do no wart remover. Please. No. Oh, oh yeah. How do people even figure w. this out? They just go down like this aisle at CVS and start like <laughs> compound random things and see what shortage. happens. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, so we would go to the pirate house. Uh, that was the name of the punk house, the pirate house. They had a big Jolly Rogers hanging on the front of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, we would we would draw circles on our hands. And go over there just fucking wasted and and annoy all the straight edge kids <laughs> and just circles. be assholes. They, they were our friends, so it wasn't like antagonistic. It was just us being jackasses. And and they were like, oh, oh, God, they're here. They called our house the Annex because we were like really close to the punk house, but we weren't. Uh-huh. So so we were the Annex. Um And they would kind of groan when we showed up and, you know, I'd be really loud and drunk and obnoxious and smoking cigarettes. And I was like, I'm owed up because they would say they were X'd up when they were out with X's on the hand. Like, I'm owed up. If I see anybody without a cigarette or a beer, I'm going to carve a circle in your back. What? Because in, in like the hardcore scene, like Boston and East Coast, New England scene, and sometimes even in a Seraphie's state of... Uh, Utah. Utah. I mean Utah. In uh, in Salt Lake City, uh, they have like really aggressive straight edge dudes that would literally like yeah. assault you if you were doing drugs or whatever. These kids weren't like that, so I was just poking fun at assholes. But uh, yeah, like there are there are stories of straight edge jocks like carving X's in people's backs who oh are God. doing drugs or drinking around them. Uh, it's pretty ugly. So I mean, I feel like making fun of straight edge kids is kind of fair game mm. when there's people that do that. Obviously it's not all <laughs> kids, but you know, yeah. So I that's like my we need story. Some kind of straight special, edge. like, um, like story time with JR music that plays like, a, <laughs> Oh my God. I was, you know what I mean? Yes. <clears throat> I really was. Like, I do story so, time on my streams too. Give my while, arms a rest. While talking so about being totally... wasted, um, like, I used to have a nickname for when I was getting like really wasted and uh-huh. uh, I called it T-Rexing 
Uh, it was coined by my friends, actually. They said that I was T-Rexing because when I got oh, really God. wasted, like my arms would curl up towards my <laughs> chest like I had little hands and I'd just like <laughs> stumble around and like with my hands close to my chest, I guess. Um, but That's I think so that the, the reasoning was so I could have my drink and my cigarette close to my mouth. Like at all times. That's a good theory. Yeah, so, you don't want to have to go too far to get to them. I mean, I don't know for sure, but that's just the best theory I came up with. It's a good theory. Or why I did that. That's awesome. So, yeah. Goodness. I don't. I don't know where we go from there. So <laughs> right. How do you follow that? <laughs> As always, Jer with his stories. We got to get that music, man. A little graphic. Yeah. What kind of well, music? Like, punk rock, obviously. It's got to be some yeah, shit. Yeah, definitely. It's be some crusty shit, man. <laughs> like crusty shit you could find. Ass rash? Oh, uh, potentially. <laughs> we could we could make Strawfoot listen to Kings of No Future every episode. <laughs> oh, he would love it. No, I think I think Malik's got to make the music for it. I think we there need Malik go. to lay down some sick beats for it. Oh, okay. def. Oh, yes, please. How did that hit me? That was supposed to be a death blow. He crawled in the bushes. Where did he go? Where did he go? He used teleport. I don't understand. I don't understand how he escapes through there and we can't follow him. He's so big. How could we not be able to walk in there after him? Yeah, shouldn't he have made a big hole like we could just follow? Like it makes sense when Great Jaggy goes into his little hole that you can't follow him because he kind of slithers in there. Great Jaggy? Great yeah. Jaggers? No, Great no, Jaggy. Jaggy. He's talking about Monster Hunter. Remember in, in, the, okay. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the desert, no, he I used to have like, a little hole that he would go in? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah that hole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jaggy. No, I knew that. I was just confused because that's not in this game. Great Jaggy is always in my heart. I'll say. No, Coral uh, Pecco a, is in your my... heart. Don't lie. It's this Coral is true. This is true. Peck Pico. Pico Pico. I do love this. I'm trying to come up with a name for my Discord. I think the Jaggy Hole is a good contender. The Jaggy, Jaggy Hole. hole. <laughs> oh, Jaggy Hole. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I'm, I'm being good. The great I'm Jaggy being, hole. I'm not being. It, there you go. Size matters. I've, yes, this is true. Man, I was fucking sharpening you, asshole. That hurt. Yeah, he's a little tempted. Yes, I, I won't sharpen. I guess I'll just beat him. Just but smack your tank. Do you mind if I capture it? No, I go for it's it. Totally cool. Kind of tired of fighting. Um, yeah. So is that that then? Uh, uh hold on. We there win. We go. Yay! Rip her again. And that oh, wait, was del- captured it. it didn't die. That was oh. delightful. He we send him off to the zoo, the monster zoo. That's just so mean. Yeah. Here, let no, me capture not. you so we can murder you and torture and you later. Arena. That's not what happens. He goes to the monster zoo and all the little kids feed him peanuts. Oh, I like that much better. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Is that official? He, he uses his, his, official he uses his chin to open them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a stream stone. I hope it's something good. You're going to get so the shaft. Excited. Probably. I usually do. <laughs> I'm Dragon, Steadfast, time. Vitality, Axe. Every single time I get a Dragon Jewel, I, I have this like little flutter in my heart. I think it's an attack jewel, and it never is. <laughs> you foolish never man. Is. You foolish man. Only Malik gets those. Yeah. I, only got, I only got three so far. Like, only three. Jesus fucking Christ. I've got only zero. Dude, yeah. the I mean, people that the were in my that... stream were like having ten. Like this one guy was like, he just puts them on sets like past seven just to make people jealous. And I was like, wow. Dick. That's me. <laughs> right? Yeah. Dick move guy. So is that is that that? Is that uh, that? Are we doing a... Yeah. Well, let's do our little, let's do some kind of, should we do some kind of outro wave or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Because we didn't wave at the beginning. You have to have waving some at some point. It's a rule. You have to prance or wave or feverishly dance. Uh, hang on. For my outro, I've got to change my clothes. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me get in my, my chibi character outfit. <laughs> I 
have a rabbit. Oh my. I, I don't know why I said that to that. It made no that's sense. Just, it's like, that's like, like Malik saying like, you want to see my eyes? I kind of want to see my <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. You guys always talk about that. That was like my I one. I love that. Moment. I absolutely love that. Seraphie, why don't you tell people where they can find you and follow your kick-ass Beat Saber and oh. uh, digital gaming angels and your Monster Hunter stuff and all, yes. all the everything that you do. Find Seraphie on everything. Twitch and give her all of your bits. Give me, mm-hmm. give me, my, oh, give me those, yeah. give well, those, those sweet bits. The sweet bits. Um, uh, for Twitch, it is Seraphie underscore underscore. Uh, I got my name Seraphie from the word seraphim, which means angel. And it was, a, I would play at night, so it was like Night Seraphie. So there's Twitter, Night Seraphie. Uh, I think on YouTube, it's Night or Seraphie Night. Um, well, then, podcast that I was, we were in season three, weren't we, Malik? Season three there? Season, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Digital Gaming Angels, uh, lowercase all together without any spaces, Digital Gaming Angels. Uh, that's way fun. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, Twitter, YouTube. What aren't you doing right well, now? Yeah, we will put it uh, <laughs> all in the description for sure. So send me, uh, like, yeah, send me all, uh, the links to all the stuff so that I can kind oh, of I paste will. them into the the deal. That's so much easier. Just like look down below. You're welcome to follow. Yes, definitely follow. Thanks Sarah for joining awesome. us, Seraphie. What an honor yeah, to be with you. you guys. I'm super stoked that you finally came. I know. Me too. Oh, and that leg armor is hot. Oh, my. That Sorry. hot pinkness is hot. Looks good. Jerry, Mail, you did like a really good groups. job of, as host today. Oh, I'm thank so you. Yeah, Jerry. You. That was awesome, <laughs> man. I, I, I hope it was at that time I was supposed to host, but then failed instantly. It was just <laughs> the right amount of awkward. Yes. It's perfect. Just the right, <laughs> right amount of awkward, so they'll love you even more. All right, laters. Bye. 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 Thanks, everyone. Love you. All right. Awesome. <laughs> we did a podcast. <laughs>